think the worst part about hard boiled eggs is actually peeling them. So I have an easy hack to peel your eggs. So after you're done cooking them and they're resting, you've put your water on them, they're draining in the sink, take a glass or any sort of jar, you're going to put an egg in there, shake it around a little bit, and then the egg is going to peel off perfectly. We all love the look of a fluffy throw pillow, but sometimes the inserts for throw pillows can be really expensive when you buy them online or at stores. So here is a hack. What you're going to do is buy just a regular pillow cover. Then to fill it, you are going to buy, wait for it, a standard pillowcase. You can buy these at Ikea, Walmart, Target for around four or five dollars. This is going to make your throw pillows look super full and it's gonna be really inexpensive. Make sure when you put your pillow in your insert that you just get it over to the corners really well. Because you're trying to put a rectangular pillow into a square, you're just gonna have to kind of shake it around quite a bit till you get it in there and it doesn't have any weird lumps. This is an easy hack to keep your fruit cold at your next party. You're gonna need two of these disposable aluminum foil tins. Grab whatever fruit you want and we're gonna start by washing it all. Now to keep your fruit nice and cold all day, you're gonna fill the bottom tray with ice. If you're wondering why my ice is in these small little chips, I actually got an ice maker off of Amazon. It's amazing, I love it so much. I'll link it for you in the description box. So next you're gonna take your tray and put it on top of your ice. Then all you have to do is put your fruit on top. If you need to take it somewhere, you could even throw the lid on it. Dawn Power Wash is all the rage. I'm gonna show you a hack how you can make your own. So you're going to need any sort of container to put it in. You're also going to need rubbing alcohol and some regular Dawn dish soap. So here's your recipe. You're going to fill your container with 1 4th Dawn dish soap, 1 4th of the rubbing alcohol, and then the rest you're going to put in water. You're gonna mix that all together and you can use it in your everyday cleaning. I saw this next hack on Pinterest and I'm not sure if it works, so we're gonna try it out together. What you're going to need is a candle with three wicks. Now the hack is if you light one of the wicks, you can move the flame around to light all three. So let's try it out. Okay, so I have my first wick lit. What was that? <laughs> I don't know. That was a little scary. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna move the flame to try to light. Uh, Light it. I'm gonna put the candle lid underneath because I'm so worried about this wax falling out. Okay, that one's, oh, that one's going. Oh, it did it. Oh, it worked on that one. That worked really well, although I will say I got wax along the edge, so maybe you need to just let it sit for a minute and let the flame get a little bit bigger and then you can light all three sides. So I think a tip for the candle hack is make sure you light one of the candles, wait about 30 seconds before turning it to light the others. But now that I think about it, it would take me less than 30 seconds to just light all of them. So I don't know if that hack's worth doing. Let me know if you've ever tried this and if this hack would work for you. Hey guys, I'm Liz and you're watching my second DIY channel where I post daily DIY videos. You may be familiar with my main channel, Liz Fibic DIY, but I'm glad that you found me over here on my second channel. Make sure that you're subscribed so you just get notified every day when I post our daily DIY video.